Well, uh, hello and welcome back to Montana. Another episode of At Home Prospecting. Mother Nature closed in on us early this year, so yeah, I've just been busy getting ready for winter and everything, so I haven't been putting up a lot of videos lately, but today we are running the new Drop Riffle V-Mat sluice box that I made out of silicone. Here's the mold for it. So we've got, uh, you know, Drop Riffle here and then a v-mat on top of the riffles and then for it also two-sided this is a v-mat or a u-mat mold i made to do cleanup so we've actually just flip this over and run the concentrates on it so let me let me give you a little cl closer look at the mat here So we've got a 3 8 inch drop here, half inches wide, and then we've got the quarter inch, or I don't know, it's a V-mat on top, so they're about eighth inch thick. Then we got some quarter inch grooves. Um, this thing's wet because I have been out here running it. I've just got three sections of it done, just as I wanted to see if it would even work or not. Uh, and then we've got the high-low V-mat from that mold that I make. That's full of water. You can't really see in there. But anyway, and then on the back side, the full length is a U-mat design to do the clean outs. And I haven't really put any gold to it yet. I've just wanted to get some dirt ran over it before I actually did a real test. First results were uh, very good, I think. It was just the gold that was in the raw dirt. And there was probably 10 or 15 specks I seen when I did ran it. So we're going to add some gold to it and dress it up a little bit and run this through and see what the results look like. Um, like I said, I'm really liking it. I'll show it all to you. Um, what I'm running is my 2,000 gallon hour pump. Uh, 12 feet of hose and going directly into the sluice. No trommel or anything like that. The reason I did the 2,000 gallon hour pump is that's what I always run in the summertime with my trommel or my wash plant or anything. So, yeah, it's got to be able to handle that or it's just not going to do me a lot of good. And we'll see what happens with this winter if I run this or what. But anyway, let me run in the house. We're going to get some gold and dump it in that dirt over there and get to running. Yeah, so we can even get close to 1.6 grams. I'll know the mats are working good. So let me get this turned around and we'll get this thing fired up. Okay, we got the dirt all stirred up and the mat running. And for our first test, I think this will be fine. I've got a little bit of fine tuning to do on the mats. I'm just going to dump it, no slick plate, just right onto the mat itself. You know, why give the gold a head steam? Why not just let it settle down right into the grooves there? And I can already see in some gold. I don't know how well I got the dirt stirred up, but... So I do have to say, this mat was inspired totally by Mr. Utah Avalanche. Um, he's been making a drop riffle sluice. He sold on them. Um, he's Mr. Gold Recovery Guy. Um, he does an awesome job with his videos and stuff. So if you haven't seen it, or if you haven't seen his last video where he made the sluice box mat, and the, or the silicone mat, and then his Miller table, sluice box, and fluid bed all combined into one unit, that is the slickest setup I have seen in a long time. So go check that out if you haven't but you know he made his and he was catching his gold in the top three riffles all of it or not all of it but he wasn't finding any in his tailings so i figured why not make a drop riffle sluice box mat and since i have the 3d printer why not just go ahead and put riffles on top of on top where the riffle is instead of the drop riffle and then on top you'll see the deep V because 
everyone I've seen is smooth on top so why not just add a little bit more to it and just go from there and I'm already seeing gold showing up in here but what I think is cool is look how active it's staying we'll get the camera off of here look how active that's staying it's not building up it's working its way down keep the glare off but let's stay active but not clearing out down to the high low V mat down here same thing oh I really like the way this is working and not only that it's not the design so much as it is it's made out of silicone and silicone the gold doesn't like to slide on it it likes to stick to it so why not huh so I'll just go ahead and run this material through here and then I'll go ahead and flip it over and run the concentrates on the other side of the mat instead of having a complete other mat and a whole nother sluice and everything else we'll just change out the pump to a 1200 gallon hour pump turn the mat over and run it that way let me finish running this through I'll be back Okay, I had to run in and grab the phone and it's got a better camera on it for close-ups but you can see all the gold in the top of the riffles there we go gold in the top of the riffles there there's our big pieces see the gold down in the trough down there in the drop riffle some there Look at all the grooves in the top of that V-mat there. Well, yeah, we're just loaded with gold. Um, I'll admit that was a pretty extreme test, about 10 degrees, 2,000 gallon hour pump. So I am seeing little specks of gold down in here. I'm seeing some in the V-mat. But that was a pretty extreme test, so... I mean, not too much down there. Most of it is up here at the top, of course. So let's get this cleaned out, and we will run it on the other side and do the cleanup part of it, see if that works, and kind of see what the results are and see what we ended up with for a first test, whether how much gold I got to go searching for. But, yeah, I'm liking that. I really like how the black sands are building up in there. This is a lot of black sand in this stuff. But you can see that to where the back or the front is cleaned out. The back is full of back sands. So it is creating a vortex. I like that. And the further down you go, of course. Okay, let me clean this out. We'll flip it around and see what we can do there. Okay, we got the mat flipped over and turned on. There's our cons from the uh, drop riffle sluice. So this is the U-mat design. If I can get out of the glare here. And it's running super, super smooth. Two tablespoons, you can see the uh, gold showing up. And working its way down. So I got fine tuning to do, but for a first run, we're good. I like the U-mat design. It'll get rid of all the bigger rocks and just leave me the real fine stuff. So 
So yeah, gold sticking in it. We don't have too much to run, just that. Well, we got done with that. And well, I like what I see. Look at all that gold in there. In the top riffles. So that's one big one that didn't go down at all. That one there. And that one there. But as I come down, I see a couple pieces in there. But come on, focus. A couple pieces there across there that big one but down past the second mat 14 inches down I see nothing and that is not gold there that is a gold colored rock yeah I see nothing down below whatsoever so that's a good indication this is going to work great for a cleanup mat I saw no reason why not Well, I'm going to try something I've been wanting to try for a while, and that is my blue bowl on top of my sluice box. Um, I've got it all leveled. I got it sitting there. Um, no, it's not a full stream down, but we all know a blue bowl can blow out gold and does super fine stuff. So I figure why not see if the mat will catch the rest of it if it blows any out. So I'm going to go ahead and just dump these cons into the blue bowl here we'll turn it on because I get really sick and tired of swirling the pan around trying to pick out all the little pieces so we're just going to dump it in here and hopefully the blue bowl will separate it and whatever the blue bowl blows out the sluice box should catch with the you mat facing up so we'll just go ahead and turn this on water's not the cleanest but we'll let that run you can see the gold in there and I didn't classify it I just panned it down to the black sands so we'll see how that works Get that thing going. Well, we're just about done with the blue bowl. It's working away. It's slow. But what I do like about this is I like the blue bowl on top of the sluice um, with my levelers that I've got. And I got a video on how I did this and made the levelers and the stand and everything. So your blue bowl will basically fit anywhere. Uh, so I like it because every now and then I see a little speck of gold come down the sluice and I'm able to just stick my little snuffer bottle in there and just suck it up. Um, it's not running full steam, but it's just got a little trickle of water going right down the middle of the sluice. And yeah, I can see anything that it's escaping. There happens to be one right there. Yeah. So the blue bowl, I know, blows out some gold and the real fine stuff. But if I can just sit here and pick out the little pieces, I think that's going to work good. Um, and it sure beats sitting there swirling the pan for hours. So a little cloudy, but we're almost done. I'll get it cleaned out. So the blue bowl is done. Um, I'm going to suck this up real quick. Uh, what's left in there looks like to be quite a bit. And I'll take it inside and weigh it and go from there. See how much gold I got to chase. I don't think much though. Okay, we got the scale teared out. Here's the gold. Let me get it in this little boat here. And we'll see what the results are. And the results are what? 
and I had had it written down here 1.613 oh my goodness for a first test I'll take it I'll take it we lost a few specks of fly poop gold that was about it so first run I'll take that that's the end of my little test today uh, I'm pretty dang happy I think if I reduce the angle on the sluice just a little bit more than I had it bring it down to about six seven degrees I think the drop riffle sluice will work great um, the other side worked better than I even thought it would but you can see the gold in there um, it works slick cleans out a lot of the concentrates now on the molds I did make up some of the drop riffle V mat mold I have them available in six inch right now I haven't made any 10 inch I wanted to see if they would work all the other molds I have in 10 inch um, this is the back to make the other side of this those are all available as well as with the the high low V mat and all the other molds and they're on eBay I'll put a link below you can find my eBay listings also one more thing I think since this is kind of my project there was a lot of people that helped out in getting it to this point but I don't want anybody to struggle and since it was my project I'm selling the molds I have did the videos on how how to uh, make the mats and everything um, I feel like I'm gonna put my uh, email address out there so everybody can contact me if you want got pictures you want to show me you got a special request you need help with the match you're having issues um, I'm gonna do that um, the email I'll put in the description below but it is mats and molds at gmail.com so if you got any questions or need to contact me feel free just please be respectful uh, yeah so that's about it pretty happy with the mat uh, I got some more testing to do uh, some more runs to make uh, got some special dirt from Arizona that Chuck Gentle setting up to me I need to run so anyway thanks for watching check out the molds if you want you don't have to make buy these molds to make silicone mats there's lots of ways to do it um, DIY make your own molds uh, I know Utah Avalanche is doing it some other people have done it I've got videos on different things you can use so anyway if you're interested in the molds they're on eBay um, if you want to make your own, check out some more videos, make your own, uh, that's fine. They work great. So anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Bye now.